Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immersed Robot. So I just wanted to go through a few announcements from Facebook and links about their upcoming products. And they made both of these announcements yesterday. And the one from Facebook is actually the Facebook Ray-Ban partnership with the uh, Ray-Ban Stories smart glasses. And there were some leaked images earlier on yesterday, which uh, made it clear really what kind of product this was. The leaked images showed a normal pair of sunglasses from Ray-Ban with cameras in the corner and there from the close-up images that were shown there there didn't really seem to be any kind of display technology in the glasses or anything like that so I sort of tempered my expectations not that I was really expecting too much beyond that anyway but these leaked images if they were accurate they were really showing that there was no display technology in these glasses at all so with that in mind uh, when the announcement actually came it was more or less as expected and that is glasses that were used for video and image capture as well as having some audio functionality as well like being able to take calls or listen to music and things like that and they also work with Facebook's voice assistant for audio based notifications and things like that really so that's really the focus of what this product is going to be and we already knew that these were not going to be true AR glasses by Facebook or anything like that they are working under those under a separate project called Project Aria and these are very much ranking alongside other first gen smart glasses from companies like Snap and their Spectacles, where the functionality is really primarily based around video and image capture. But the interesting thing around this announcement, especially the announcement video which featured Mark Zuckerberg, is it's easy to see that Facebook see this product as being the first step in a much larger journey towards true AR glasses and stepping away from the reliance on mobile phones. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg really couldn't have been any more clear on that within this video. We believe that this is an important step on the road to developing the ultimate augmented reality glasses. Now, there's a lot of technology that still needs to be developed and miniaturized to deliver the AR glasses that we all envision for the future. Imagine seeing holograms, turn-by-turn -turn directions, or being able to play chess on a table in front of you with your loved one 3,000 miles away right from your glasses. So it was interesting to see it from that point of view and I do encourage people just to go and watch that from, for that kind of uh, candidness um, from Mark Zuckerberg just to make it perfectly clear that these were sort of the very first step really on a larger journey. And these glasses as well, they're just a great way to normalise the technology for future generations. It might be a big step to go from a mobile phone to straight up AR glasses all of a sudden but by using this these smaller steps in this kind of technology it just makes it so that the mainstream public are made aware of these kinds of glasses and then by the time true AR glasses are coming along they're far more ready to accept them as a viable alternative to mobile phones. Personally speaking I would have loved to have seen Facebook take a next step with these glasses though. I would have loved some kind of visual notification kind of like a, a smartwatch kind of functionality within these glasses where you get some kind of very small heads up display in the corner of the glasses or something like that but that still seems to be several generations away unfortunately and these glasses have a a starting price of £299. Personally, I think I'll be giving this generation a miss, but they're interesting nonetheless, and that video did give some kind of insight into Mark Zuckerberg's future plans for this kind of technology. And also yesterday, uh, Stan LaRock from Lynx gave uh, some more details in a live stream on the Lynx YouTube channel about their upcoming R1 headset, which is a AR-VR hybrid headset. And it's very interesting, it caught my attention a long time ago uh, when I first saw that demo of the pass-through capabilities of this headset. It looked fantastic and I was eager to give this a try. But Stan did give a few more details on this. So the Kickstarter for this product starts at the end of September and I think they're planning on shipping first units out in February of next year and the base price for this product is going to be $499 and there is a special edition with a transparent faceplate as well for $699 and then a business version for $899. Now Stan was very careful to make sure that people understood this is a hand tracking first headset. Now controllers can be used, they've got some kind of uh, partnerships with a couple of different companies that they are looking at at the moment, Finch being one of them but 
controllers are not included within this price which seems to be quite a big turn off for some people unfortunately if they're looking to see this as a viable gaming platform straight off um, you will need to pick up some separate controllers for that it does have integrated audio and it also has SD card storage expansion into the headset as well so you can expand the storage uh, which you can't do on something like the Quest or Quest 2. There was also some footage shown of the headset being used with Steam VR via a USB tether and they did also say that it would be able to stream PC VR content through Wi-Fi 6 the same as the Quest 2 to the headset as well so that is something they're still working on but it will be able to do it when you get it in your hands. Um, there are a few other details as well that they mentioned and the AR pass-through this is something I actually asked during the live stream because this is something I was very interested in. I asked if it would have sort of room mapping if it would create a room mesh and things like this and um, because that's part of the functionality of AR is it needs to be aware of every piece of furniture in your room and the room itself and they did say that it does have room mapping and a occlusion mesh as well so you should get some kind of realistic AR digital projections by using this headset as well so that was encouraging to hear um, now somebody else asked about the app store and this hasn't been completely finalized yet unfortunately they are working on this and they're trying to get something set in stone but we don't know if the app delivery system for this device yet but I'm confident they'll get that resolved uh, pretty soon based on what they've said in the past and just to finish off just a final point I did notice because they did have a Q&A at the end and I was asking questions but there were a lot of questions that were getting in there and uh, that they were struggling to really get through them all really but there was one question where they asked about sort of the controller tracking volume and this is interesting to know as well and he said that it was going to be 120 degree tracking volume now that will be for the hand tracking volume presumably and also if they go for a controller solution which uses the cameras the cameras on board the headset to track the controllers as well similar to the quest 2 however he did mention that one of the controller based solutions that they were looking at also had a different kind of technology where the tracking volume could potentially be bigger and i presume it would be something similar to like what we see on magic leap with that uh, magnetic based controller system but we'll see where that goes we've still not got every single detail with this yet so with that in mind i guess it's best to wait until this kickstarter launches at the end of september and presumably we will get a few more details uh, resolved by that point as well and over the next few weeks hopefully but i am very interested in this device and i am very tempted to go for this kickstarter i've still not made up my mind yet but i'm going to watch out for those details which we'll hopefully be getting over the next few weeks and when the kickstarter finally starts i'll make up my mind but that's it really it was an interesting couple of announcements really the facebook thing it's a little bit off topic because they're not really you know ar based glasses or anything like that but i thought they were interesting to see the uh, direction that facebook are heading in with that kind of technology and the links are one it's just a very interesting curiosity at this moment in time and i can't wait to give one of these a try so let me know what you think but thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you next time if you'd like to support the channel then there are numerous ways to do so listed in the description like heading over to the merch store and picking up an immersed robot mug or any other item arbitrarily featuring the channel logo as always link is in the description to this video